What is up all your YouTube viewers and YouTube fans? It is me and yours truly, Brent Murphy here. Also known as you folks may know me from my Twitch channel or Twitch name. Um, under LP Brandon over there on Twitch.tv. Remember folks that you will have to at some point, some way, some which, and some what. Okay? And... It's been last year since I have fucking hated nostalgia fucking faggot critic. But this year, because no one can, because no one can deal with this guy, and I'm serious, since no one can deal with this guy, and I'm talking about Doug Walker, Wal Rob Walker, and so much more. It's like that saying goes, folks. If you can't, if you cannot fucking beat them, then you might as well fucking join them. And today, folks, I'm done with that last year. This year, I'm over it. I'm just completely over it. And speaking of over it, you know what I can't get over right now? I can't get over the fact that he hates Tom and Jerry, the movie. And I'm about to share that with you folks today with this asshole, this douchebag, this faggot, and this motherfucker. Oh, yeah, and also this bitch. Who has been hating Tom and Jerry, the movie, so much. So, here we go. Let us jump into that. So, today, folks, we got him talking to us about the classic times that we loved Tom and Jerry. Okay? And I'm not kidding. I, too, folks, loved Tom and Jerry back when I was a kid. Back when, what, Tom and Jerry was fucking released? When Tom and Jerry was fucking made? Or maybe the fact that Tom and Jerry was made on TV, then they made a movie, then they made a game, and now even years before, years after that, they made two new, they made so many movie, they made more movies, but without voicing in it, I mean some of them had voicing in it, but Tom and Jerry, like Nostalgia Critics said, they don't speak, but we had familiar actors and actresses who's been speaking in Tom and Jerry movies, and even, even after that, they even made a brand new show called Tom and Terry, The Tales of Tom and Jerry. And how does Tom, how does The Tales of Tom and Jerry go? Well, still same old shit. I'm not kidding. I am not fucking kidding. They bring more shit of Tom and Jerry not talking, not speaking, and blah blah blah, and BBBBS, that it drives me nuts. More, and last but not least, they bring in more actors to the fucking goddamn cartoons. Ignore that sound. That's my Steam notification, which I have to fix that later on. But anyways, let's jump into the movie. So, yeah, we go back to slapsticks after slapsticks after slapsticks. Yeah, we get it. Okay, we get it. There's this, there's that, and there's so on and so forth. So, what's good and what's bad about this movie? Well, there's been slapsticks like that one. There's slapsticks like that one. And... There's a bit of some comparison in Tom and Jerry and Tom and Jerry the movie. So like when he yells and I'm not kidding, when he when Tom, Tom yeah. yells And this is the movie. Yeah. yeah, you folks get it. And look at this! We're not I'm not even kidding! In the cartoon they cut they cut Tom and Jerry in half and there's no blood in it. Why? Because, I don't know, maybe Hannah 
Barbera and Joseph Barbera are trying to keep this clean. Because, and we're talking about, if you folks have kids out there, then it's best to get those. Because this is what's happening. This is the, that's the cartoon, this is the movie. And look at this. Ew! Oh! Why? Why blood? Why? God, that's sickening. God, that's sickening. It's like... If, and yes, spoiler alert, if you folks have not played on any horrifying yet scary games that involve blood or gore or even worse, like Danganronpa, Danganronpa 2, Danganronpa 3, or even worse, any fucking scary or horrifying games, check them out. And you'll understand why they are rated M for Mature. Oh yeah, I went there one time playing a game that's not even that it's not wasn't even made from wasn't even acceptable for me to play because they're scary and such. Not like I mean compared to Luigi's Mansion or um, another game that wasn't quite scary like you know, but that um. In any other game? Oh my god. So, we start, oh, we s start this movie when some, with someone leaving the household, saying goodbye, a Vita St. Francois, and I don't know, that jazz. That's like another one of the Tom and Jerry movies that, um, I don't know how to say this. And, but, uh, we have. We have this. We have this where Tom and Jerry lives in a big mansion. And we have this right now in the movie where they live in a small house that is about to get wrecked. And I'm not kidding. Tom and Jerry's saying goodbye to that household because they're moving on to, I guess, find a way back home. But Tom is like... That way, go that way, please. Wait, by the way. So, Tom is telling Jerry to go that way, please. Please go that way. I don't want, I don't want you. I don't want to do anything with you. We're done. Okay, goodbye. And, but what's good about this movie is that they have voice actors. Like Donna Hill playing as Jerry and... Some guy, I guess, playing Tom, and so on and so forth. And that is why I love about this movie. It's fucking badass. So, continuing on, we find, I guess, the show's creators. A restaurant called Bill and Joe is obviously referencing Bill Hanna and Joseph Barbera. We find Tom, I guess, trying to find some food, but the guy who runs the shops and restaurants, I guess, are like saying, Sorry there, buddy. No cat, no pets allowed. That's like t that's like saying, "Sorry, we can't have your rodent in our household." Okay. Now after what they did to us, they stole, they took our cheese, they took, they took our cheese, they eat it, and then so on and so forth. I'm done. Yeah. Shows creators. Yeah. But it all goes downhill when they meet this singing gay dog and his obnoxious little flea named Frankie. Instead of being pals, you fellas that ain't gonna make it out what here. What It's like Peter is pugs. George Carlin's secret love child. Except Tom. the dog. The name. Mm -hmm. What the hell? Did they just talk? I'm Tom. I'm Jerry. Yup, and like I said, actors, you gotta fucking love them, folks. Because, like I said, compared to Tom and Jerry cartoons and movies, Tom and Jerry didn't speak. Why? I guess Joseph and Hannah Barbera doesn't want to doesn't want Tom and Jerry to speak because um because they are like mimes, folks. That's like for example, if I'm a mime You get it? 
So, that's what Tom and Jerry is like in cartoons and movies. Not like this one, but in movies compared to this one. And most definitely different than this one. Tom and Jerry can't speak. So that's like, that's pretty much the example I gave you folks. They're like moms who can't speak or can't fucking talk. Which is very upsetting. But this fucking nailed it. Two thumbs up, I'm saying, folks. Two fucking thumbs up for that. Famous silent duos of all time just speak to each other? No. No. I didn't eat my customary three pound watermelon and drink my traditional pitcher of sangria both at the same time while I confirm how wrong I was about this ridiculous misunderstanding. What do you think I am, a dummy? You said it. <laughs> Holy crap! They talk! They actually talked! I'm pretty sure that Lips has finally begun Pinky's uncle. Unbelievable. I mean, Tom and Jerry don't talk. But wait, it gets worse. Not only can they talk, but they can also sing. We two, we're friends to the end. Ain't we my friend? Yeah! Yeah! Okay, so... Another good thing about this is, I love when they talk, I love when they sing. And that's not bad. I mean... Most of you people out there on YouTube has been seeing my videos singing and talking, but that's normal. This is what we people do on YouTube. We make, we record our videos, we talk, we sing, we do let's plays, we do this, we do that, so on and so forth, baby. So on and so forth. But what's bad about this is, I mean, the way, the way, um, this fucking played out compared to indifferent than Tom and Jerry movies, Tom and Jerry didn't sing in any movies on Cartoon Network, no. And again, why is that? Because I just said it before, and I'll say this again. No, actually, you know what? Let's start a counter of how many times I'm going to say... Hannah and Joseph Barbera have done this, or Hannah and Joseph Barbera have done that. So, recap. Joseph and Hannah Barbera made Tom and Jerry a mime. So that they can't talk, they cannot sing. That's... There we go, that's one. Okay, I'm starting that now. Two other guys, compatible and steak and fries. But wait, it gets worse. Not only do they like to sing, they like to sing about how they don't like chasing each other and how they enjoy being friends. Okay, so I mean, honestly, I don't mind about. I have no problem with them being buds. I don't. Mi I don't mind them being. Wowsy wowsy you know, but I mean Okay, here's number two coming up number two Fucking Joseph and Hannah Barbera May Tom and Jerry not be friends and why is that because they like to be duking it out Fighting each other to the death, so on and so forth. Ba 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 ba. Okay, so yeah. As much as I, as much as I like to not disagree with, as much as I want to disagree with, um. As much as I don't like to disagree with. That's a fucking faggot critic right now. I, yeah, I now has to. I now, folks, has to because this is no, this is no bueno, man. Them being friends and all. Ugh. And Jerry, Jerry, I knew them viewing audience. To be on many hilarious and 
So, I mean, let's look at this from... From what fucking Jontron's experiencing here? From all this time, we've been having so much slapstick from when we was born, watching Tom and Jerry, all the way to now this year, or maybe last year too, when Joseph and Hanna-Barbera, that's number three, had to make had to make Tales of Tom and Jerry with more voice actors, but no Tom and Jerry speaking, dancing, singing, or being buddies. There's just isn't any. No. No joke, folks. It takes a thousand and it's really time. sad. And now, and a big disappointment, but you know what? Is. My gorge rims. As Slappy Squirrel would say, now that's comedy. In fact, you know what? Let me pull that video up right now. Let me roll that clip. Let's roll in that clip, shall we? From um, what was that movie again? We're back. A dinosaur story. Here we go. Yep, this is the this is the one. This is the clip. Here we go. That's harmony! Okay. Simple. Simple. That's comedy for you guys. And we love comedy, right? We love all the slapstick. We love all the funny. <laughs> and he. <laughs> well, we can forget all that now because it's gone. It's in our memories now. It's out of our memories now. And so on and so forth. So, moving on. The Mexican after Tom and Jerry become friends, Pugsy is taken away, thank God, by a pair of Mexican wrestler dog catchers. So Tom and Jerry, Pugsy is taken... So, like jo like nostalgia fucking faggot critics say, is that... Away, thank God, by Pugsy and, I guess, the flea guy, whatever his name was, Yes. Pair of Mexican wrestler dogs stolen by these guys, yeah. So Tom and Jerry set off on their own, while running funny. into a strange gang of alley cats who like to do nothing more than to be got no time for taste. Sing another song. Yep, it's time, dude. And I mean, there's gonna be a lot of singing in this video, in this movie. Yeah, like just like most of the mo of the movies, Joseph and him. Mom Barbara, and that's number four, by the way. Um, but Joseph and Hanna Barbera, they keep on adding more songs in to each movie, and I'm not kidding. There was songs in Tom and Jerry and the Wizard of Oz, Tom and Jerry on Pirate Island, or whatever it was, and so on. No, so much more. I'm not joking. Oh, oh come on, I already yeah. have the, I mean, how can any- We can't. So. Yeah, did I really just- Fuck it. I'm gonna be humming that tune all week. And that's not actually humming. See? Okay, this is what's bad. I- I want to say that I want to agree with Nostalgia. Fucking faggot critic right now. But this- I can't- Oh my god. I asked to disagree because what this guy did when he say Oh yeah, I'm gonna be humming that tune all week. He's like Yeah 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 You call that humming? This is humming. <laughs> You get what I'm getting at, folks. Okay. Yeah. So after they escape the singing cat gang, good God, did I really just say that? They come across another shadow lurking in the alleyways. And who's this mysterious person in the shadows? By none other than Anne McAvey. I think that's how you pronounce her name. 
and Megabe. I'm not, and I'm not kidding, folks. Like I said, there's actors like Donna Hill playing Jerry and Anne McAvey <laughs> playing Robin. And we're not talking about Robin from Teen Titans or Teen Titans Go. We can fuck all that out of the picture. No, this Robin from Tom and Jerry the movie. Who the hell is this? I'm Robin Starling. I'm afraid I don't have a home anymore. And I mean, on a scale of 1 to 10, both Donna Hill and Anne McAvey both hit the perfect 10. Both of them hit the perfect 10, folks. This is no joke. I'm sorry, um, we're trying to shoot a movie here. Is there any chance you can just kind of mosey along? So, I'm going to mute this guy. Because, I mean, honestly, I can't stand... I can't stand... Uh, I can't stand... Um, Nostalgia fucking faggot critic being so rude to these... Um, being so rude to these movies, but you know what? Like I said, we can't beat them, so we might as well join them. And you know, there is a third option. Oh, yeah, there is a third option. It's called fucking muting their video. So now I'm taking over. Thank God. So we come to Robin, and she tells Tom and Jerry about their lives and what not as she has this special locket that she's trying to find her family and I mean that sounds pretty reasonable I mean if I for example miss my real dad who I rarely care much right now I'm not talking about my stepdad my stepdad's still here don't get me wrong I'm talking about my real dad who's out there somewhere over the rainbow and I'm right here in the apartment complex by myself and with no love or care in the world and I mean that's fine that's people's opinions and whatnot that's just people being people and me being me and them being them and I being I so but anyways so we come to Robin she's trying to find her lost family I guess but this girl this evil lady. Oh no. Here it comes. That voice. We're gonna I'm gonna remember this character's voice all day. A lot of money. The evil aunt and lawyer go searching for her because apparently she's worth a lot of money. Oh and there's a what the hell does conflict? Exposition breads is better than purple pew by Oh sounds like the producers of this movie. So they talk about what they're I'll do anything. I'll do Money is such a <laughs> Not another one! Money. See? That's... Voice... Sounded so fucking familiar! I wanna figure out who she is! And you know what? I'm actually challenging this right now. I'm gonna go on... I'm gonna go on to Google. Type in Tom and Jerry the movie. And... Uh, fucking challenge this right now. Um, hold on. One second. And you know what, city me? I forgot to type, type, bleh. I forgot to uppercase these things. There we go. Okay, so here we have Tom and Jerry the movie. Da, 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 da. So, who was this lady that I showed you, folks? Why, it's none other than Aunt Pristine Fig. And guess who's fucking playing her? Charlotte Ree! And. Whoops! Hold on. I'm sure, folks, Charlotte Wee's, Ree's been in, oh, she's in two movies. Okay, so she's not in anything I folks know, except maybe 101 Dalmatians, but that's about it. Okay.
I mean, no fucking joke, folks. Charlotte Ree is playing Aunt Pristine Fig, which... I don't know. I don't know her. I don't... I haven't even met her, so good. She is such a beautiful girl. So Christine Reed is playing aunt. Horrible! It's like <laughs> So Krista Fuck I'm not I'm not screaming because I hate the music, but I'm screaming because I forgot the artist again. Uh, actress again. So, we have... Excuse me. Sorry. Fuck. Okay, so we have Charlotte Re, Folks. Um, playing Aunt Pristine Fig as they begin to sing. These fucking songs yes. are horrible! Oh, and not just like she's... Fantastic. So not, you might be asking yourself, is there a sing. Hester Tom and Jerry stick in this... Just Not just she sings, Bonnie but the <laughs> but her best friend sings too. These fucking songs are horrible. It's, like it's disgusting. So you might be asking yourself, is there any slap music? That's disgusting. So you might be asking yourself, is there any slapstick in this movie? Well, there's a fat dog on a skateboard who seems to pester Tom and Jerry as they try to eat. Special. <laughs> Jerry as they try to eat. Special. Oh, of course. We have this m mutt. Whatever his name. What's his name? Hold on. I'm changing this again. Um. Ferdinand, that's it. So we have Ferdinand as what? Nostalgia, <laughs> fucking faggot. Critics was talking about Ferdinand. Played by Michael Bell. Had a plan of, I guess, <laughs> what, uh, oh, yeah, is they try to and say, <laughs> yeah, they try to splash him. Oh, yeah, and he sounds like Gollum. They, they try to splash, um, the poor Robin. And again, but <laughs> who seems to pester Tom and Jerry as they try to eat. And that again is our Michael Bell. Michael Bell, Michael Ball. Whatever it is. You first get the idea. Yeah, it's definitely Michael Bell. That's our Michael Bell for you. Something like going on, talking like going on, so on so forth. That's like, precious. I want my precious. Where's my beautiful precious? So on and so forth. Okay. Oh yeah, I don't give a shit about the door. So here's one slapstick that Why I is like. Tom and Jerry doing all the slapstick. I don't give a shit about the dog. I'm just. I mean, honestly, I couldn't. I couldn't disagree with nostalgia fucking faggot critic, folks. I mean, there is one slapstick in this movie. There is one, but. He doesn't care about the dog. Honestly, would to wouldn't either. But my family has one dog and two cats. That's right, folks. One dog, two cats, and we've been and my family's been taking care of them nonstop. It's great. So more what have we learned? Love your pets, and they will love you back. Yeah. Just praying they put him to sleep by the end of Send Tom and Jerry. Strange names in this movie? Doc Fetishes. Cheeks, Aunt Fig, Mr. Lick Boot? These are sounding more like abstract Dr. Apple Cheeks, Aunt Fig. Have you noticed the strange names in this movie? Dr. Apple Cheeks. So we have foes either way. Um Charlotte Re playing Aunt Pristine Fig. As they take, as I guess he takes Tom and Jerry to this guy, Dr. Applecheek, played by Henry Gibson. And as 
that the rebel jack is now taking care of on fig mr lick strange names this, in this movie got... dr apple cheeks on fig mr notice the strange names in taking, this movie Do as he's taking gonna take care now of tom and dr. jerry apple. yeah okay outrageous amounts of Our business a money making business about it of course to their owners for outrageous amounts of money how do I know this? Because he sings about it, of course! Yes, animals are business, a money-making business. I don't I think so. I it. Our business, a money-making business. I don't I think so. <sighs> and as much as I want to fucking agree with Nostalgia fucking faggot critic, I'm folks disagreeing because... Just think about it. Folks, what would happen if there was no music, huh? Just simple asking that. What would happen if there was no music in our lives? We have to go through commercials and televisions that will not have music in them. It will just be straight up commercials and TVs. And so on and so forth without music. And it's really sad. Fire. So. <gasps> you! Prison? Guess who they bump into? No, not him. <gasps> you! You kill Tom and They bump into. No. Not him. But you know what's interesting about this movie that is also good, folks? And yes, here comes another fucking number five. Joseph Barbera and Hannah Barbera, they both added Droopy. And who could be playing fucking Droopy by none other than, um, huh, I guess it doesn't say, but if Droopy what? Oh, here it is. Droopy. Don Mezik? I'm not kidding. Don Mezik, who's playing Droopy, is in this movie. Like, you all folks know, remember those funny cartoons of his? That, that he's telling the whole world. That makes me mad. This is Droopy. This is Droopy. And plus, we folks remember Droopy from Who Framed Roger Rabbit also. He was in that one too. Like, I'm... Am I blown right now? <gasps> yeah. With her father. Hey, look! So, after I guess Tom and Jerry got out of the. got away from Dr. Apple Cheek. None other than. by none other than I guess Henry Gibson, they returned to. and Mick Avey. I think that's. I think I said that right, right? Yep. And Mick Avey, who, we're, who in which I'm talking about, folks, Robin. She fine. It's Tom she's fine. Sawyer she's okay. But a job. They folks. our heroes as they well go as to. Oh my God! I'm in hell. It finally happened. Great wobbling waddle. They are in the ship. Yeah. Of course. Like, after I said, after I jinx myself by saying, Oh, they're fine! They're okay! They're not. They are literally not. They are, folks, fucking on the ship. To find themselves even more trouble. With the Capitan and, the, I guess, the Hand Puppet, because this guy... Thinks he's a captain of the Seven Seas, but he's not. And oh yes, to their mate. I mean, it even it even says it on the back of his ship, Aquamania, Captain Kid. What? Hold on, let me look more into this. So this guy is actually named Captain Kitty, played by Rip Taylor. And his parrot, puppet, parrot friend, Squawk, I guess, playing by Howard Morris, 
They're both planning on going to, I guess, some sort of show. You are the lucky. Robin is stuck watching Captain Kitty psychotic. I and don't so on and so forth. Why does everybody have? I'm done in all. Why does everybody have a song in this? Doesn't anybody just say yes or no anymore? So yes, of course they're singing and yeah. You know what? I'm actually gonna. Hold on a sec. So I'm done. I'm done with this. Uh, you know what? In times like these, it's time for... It's time... It's time when no soldier fucking faggot critic has had enough and I think it's time. It's really that time for him to stop. Because I'm not going mad. See me shooting some bullets, but with no bullets actually inside. It's driving me bonkers. And I'm keeping this in front of me. Just in case it happens again. Just in case it fucking happens again. Holy cow. Okay. I'm trying to make a commentary on these videos. With him, and it's just. Uh, Shut up! 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 Like, no joke. Would you guys? I mean, honestly, if he hates his movie so much, why couldn't just move on to something else that's entertaining, like Hook, or maybe Dutch Dread, or maybe Once Upon a Forest, or maybe something that we could all enjoy without using this and blasting the fucking hell out of people, or. Fucking movies! God damn it! Jesus! So Mom and Jerry find Robin, but unfortunately Captain Pedophile is holding her ransom for a million dollar reward that her aunt promised. On top of that, Dr. Applecheeks hears about the reward and wants to get her too. But unfortunately, he was tossed out of the car that he was in, so he has to find another form of transportation. Okay, and I'm gonna pause right there because... Look how creepy that is! Holy cow! He's not... And then... So... Here's number six! Hannah Barbera and Joseph Barbera. They're both not... Kidding. When they say that this movie is... Gonna be straight up from Raid G to PG. It's... Not fun anymore. Especially this guy, Dr. Apple Cheeks. He's like scaring us with that creepy look of his face. As if like he's saying to us, Oh yes, I'm gonna steal here. I'm gonna steal that nugget can't. I'm gonna steal that nugget ice cream vehicle. And then I'm gonna chase down. I'm gonna be chasing down that reward. Just like in the movie Rat Race, actually, where everybody's chasing down, racing against, no, racing to get, what, maybe thousands, hundred thousands, maybe even a million dollar reward? Dude, how much money does this Robin character, playing again by and McAvey has? Holy smokes and it's not and it doesn't get any worse folks um as dr applejace gets closer that look gets even more creepier in the dark no joke okay other <laughs> bye oh oh Oh. What the hell was that? Oh. Was he gonna sexually assault?
assaulted? I mean, what the hell? That was creepy. This results in a wild goose chase really as everyone chases creepy. after yeah, Robin folks. in order to get the million dollar fortune. So let me clarify this for those of you who might have missed it. A cat and mouse are driving a ship trying to save the daughter of Indiana Jones while being chased by a purple people eater, a dog on a skateboard, a performing ship captain, his hand puppet squawk, two Mexican wrestlers, and a doctor riding an ice cream cart. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the mindfuck. Oh, I know where this is going, and I'm gonna have to sadly first cut that out. More of it. Dad is okay. So yeah, remember folks when I said that this what that it was like that rat that rat race movie where everybody races to get hundreds, maybe thousands, or maybe ten thousands, or maybe. 50,000, or maybe even 100,000, or maybe even 500,000, or maybe even a million dollar reward. Well, yeah, this is what happens when you're in the right race of chasing this poor girl, Robin, played by Anne McAvey. As, and I'm not joking, folks, it's also like not many sneak as a series of unfortunate events when Count Olaf is trying to steal the Baudelaire's the Baudelaire and the triplets fortune. Why? Because the Baudelaire's and the triplets are fucking rich. Just like this girl's fucking rich too. She's got, I don't know, maybe money in her pocket I guess. Find a bag. That's been, I don't know. I mean, hey guys, are there waiting? So much more. But a lamp falls over and, of course, starts a fire, burning down. Like and the bad guys are there. Wa I'm really sorry to say this, folks, but yeah. And look at that creepy face. It's like the Joker from. It's like the Joker's face in um. Oh my god, what was that movie? The Return of the Phantom, that's it. Or The Phantom Returns, whatever it is. I mean, eek. You think there would be... You think they could cut the... You think they could cut the... What is it? You think they could cut the scary, creepy faces? Just a little. Just a tad. Please, because I've been through, like I said, folks, this is no joke. It's like going through through a whole lot of um, rated immature, horrifying, or scary games that, are, that I find some of them scary, some of them not scary, and they just jinxed you. But games like... Games that will horrify and scare the hell right out of you? Yeah, this is one of them. This is exactly like one of those horror games. Or scary games you can't even escape or even get out of. It's really, really, really horrifying. Simple as that. It's just plain old horrifying. No joke. Like, you'd think there would be, like, no more scariness, no more of this, no more of that. I mean, come on. Please. Tim, is there a way we could end this charade? Is there a way that we could end this here scariness out of our life? But a lamp falls actually, over. Yeah. Actually, we can, and of course, start starts a fire, burning down by the bad guy. Guys, are there if they fucking order. speed this up, it falls over, and of course, really, okay, refreshing Hello, time. Oh, I'm the nostalgia critic. I remember it, so you don't have to. But a lamp falls over, and of course, starts a fire, burning down the entire cabin. I always love. Oh, of course, another fucking reference that they're the Tom and Jerry, and here's number seven. That. 
Hanna-Barbera and even Joseph Barbera are stealing right now. They are stealing a Robin Hood reference. That's like folks, here, 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 you know what? I'm just gonna show it to you right now. Let's all look at Robin Hood when Robin Hood is on the tower. And no, I'm not talking about these new ones. I'm talking about Disney's tower. I think it's this one. Right here. Exactly like what uh this is kind of like comparing to but a lamp falls over and of course starts a fire burning down see this turns into this <laughs> and lastly that turns into that. The entire cabin. And finally, folks, we come to And last folks, we come to this. Looking like this. I love how one stamp falls over and of course fire and like fire burning back it down the entire cabin. See? Dunsky. Alright. Now, I'm pretty sure that's. Yeah. I always love how one spark can set off a house fire in like two seconds. Watch. You see? It looks like all hope is gone for our three heroes until. It's Robin's father, Indiana Jones! He rescues Oh! And another fucking reference here. You know what? Let's pull this up. Just in case. You know what? I don't give a fuck. Let's pull this up. Let's pull up an Indiana Jones reference. And no, I'm not talking about all these scenes. Nope, 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 nope. I'm talking about the main scene where they get rescued. Where Indiana Jones gets rescued. Problem is, I try my fucking best to find it here. Um. God, so you know what? It's so fucking hard to find it. That one. What you seeing? You know what? Whatever. You both get it, right? You both get it. and leaves Tom and Jerry to burn a <laughs> the fire. Wait, what? Dark. They're gone. He's what's left of their five Thanksgiving dinners more threatened. We're eating tonight! Oh, of course. Find them. Or at least what's left of their charred remains. Either way, we're eating tonight!
Oh, of course they're alive. They survived Thanksgiving dinners more threatening than that. So Robin and her father adopt the cat and mouse and invite them to live in their home, where, of course, Tom and Jerry start doing what they should have been doing throughout this entire movie. I love this little circle here, like, yep, that's what it's all about. But nope, that's not what this film is about. I'll tell you exactly what this... So there we go and have it. There's your folks' reaction. There's your folks' uh... There you folks have it. That's my reaction. That is my review of Tom and Jerry, the movie, with fucking nostalgia faggot critic, folks, okay? And if you don't like it, then you can watch the video yourself down below in the description and so on and so forth, okay? But till next time, folks, I am yours truly... Brian Murphy, also known as you folks may know me from my Twitch channel or Twitch name, LP Brandon on Twitch.tv. Remember, if folks, that you have to at some point, some which, some way, and somewhat saying a goodbye, a visiting, fansoir, sayonara, and all that jazz. And as the artists put you saying their song, folks, keep it simple. And if you folks excuse me, I'm gonna go blow myself up now. Bye.